Get up to rock, get up to burn, stand with the fire, never feel your desire. One day I noticed that my life was broken. It was not me who was controlling. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to more week one action here in the Chaos Cup of the Mid-Atlantic Mauling League. It's the very first week of the season. I am super excited to get this game underway. But before we do, I want to say thank you very much to S'mores Dragon for the sub. I really appreciate it. Welcome to the stream. Man, I guess it's my turn, huh? I guess it's my turn. Tonight, we're going to have Skaven versus Undead, the Poker Ratman versus the Dead Presidents, Artificial Bunny versus me. Oh, boy. Boy, this is gonna be fun. This is gonna be very fun. Let's take a look at the standings before we take a look at the rosters. Division A is up again today. We had a Division A matchup earlier uh, this evening, in the afternoon, in fact. In the afternoon for me, anyway. Uh, that was the first Division A matchup. That was the Baltimore Blitzers versus Cetra's Skellies. That ended in a 3-0 win for the High Elves of the Blitzers. Tonight, it's gonna be game two of Division A. It'll be my team, the Dead Presidents, that is misspelled on the standings. That's supposed to be a Z. Whoever wrote this should be fired <laughs> against the Poke Bratman that is actually spelled correctly. <laughs> you got the little accent on the E. <laughs> Artificial Bunny versus me. Uh, two teams that really couldn't be more different from, uh, from each other. We can take a look at Division B. Uh, all but one game's left in Division B. Uh, that's kind of catchy. Coached by newcomer Sweet Bunny is sitting in first place. That probably will not change. We'll see. We have one more game left in Division B. That will be Nick Satan versus Dead Fred. Two excellent coaches. That'll be tomorrow night. First off, let's take a look at the Ratman. Got to catch them. I guess you don't have to catch them all. You just got to catch some. <laughs> I feel like with Skaven, you do have to catch them all. At the very least, you have to catch the gutter runners. <laughs> TV 1000, of course, at the beginning of the season. 11 player roster on this team. Three rerolls. That is perfectly fine. He's picked up three of his four gutter runners, two storm vermin. Those are the blitzers for a Skaven team. You can see they come with the block skill. The gutter runners we'll talk about in just a second. He did pick up the big guy, Bidoof. The rat ogre comes in with a stat line of six movement allowance, five strength, two agility, eight armor value, has frenzy, mighty blow, uh, Prehensile Tail and Wild Animal, of course, being a big guy, he has the learner skill as well. Mighty Blow is a fantastic score, a fantastic score, fantastic skill, perhaps even a fantastic score. Mighty Blow will give you a plus one on your armor or your injury roll, whichever one you need it on. That is really, really good. Combine that with a strength of five and frenzy and you will be taking people off the pitch left and right. Wild Animal, of course, Loner is the negative trait, but Wild Animal is the other negative trait. If he's not blocking or blitzing, it's a 50-50 chance whether he gets to take his action at all. <laughs> Sports Dragon says, oh my god, I'm so happy you named one of them Bidoof. <laughs> it's cute. <laughs> Prehensile Tail gives you a minus, uh, gives opponents a minus one on dodges. Probably won't come into effect too much here. Tonight, the Storm Vermin, 
Uh, not as fast as the gutter runners. <laughs> not much is in the game of Blood Bowl, uh, but still pretty fast all on their own with an MA of seven. Decent stat line across the board. They have the block skill. The gutter runners are the ones to look out for here tonight. He's got three of them. He can field four. They have a massive MA of nine, the fastest in the game. They have a massive AG of four on par with elves. Very brittle with an AV of seven, not very strong with a strength of two, but they have the dodge skill as well. Dodge is going to make them a little more resilient against blocks. It's also going to allow them a free reroll on their dodges. So these gutter runners can just move. They can just go. You have to be very, very careful of Skaven uh, scoring very quickly. You don't want to give Skaven too many turns to score if, uh, if they're going to win the game because they don't need that many. One or two can do it. They'll be up against the Dead Presidents, an undead team here in Division A. Four score and, well, four scores would be nice. Uh, four scores would be very nice. An 11 man roster for me as well, TV 1000 team. Uh, I This is one of the few teams in Blood Bowl where I can't think of uh, any other way I'd really want to build out a, a TV 11 roster. There, with all the other teams in Blood Bowl, I can think of uh, at least a couple of ways I might do it. Not for Undead. This this is it for me. I, undead also uh, has skeletons. I, I've never understood the point of a skeleton. Some coaches might run skeletons. You will not see a single skeleton on my roster <laughs> all season long. <laughs> but I uh, picked up two whites. Whites are the blockers for me. They come with, I'm sorry, the blitzers. They come with the block skill and a decent stat line of 6338. Three of the four ghouls, 7337 is the stat line. They're pretty fast. Decent stats, and uh, they're a little fragile, but they too come with the dodge skill. Uh, two mummies. Mummies are super great. Mummies are super great, in my opinion, because uh, they're big. Uh, I hesitate to call them the big guys, but they are. They have an MA of three. They don't, they're not very fast. They're not very agile. They're very resilient. Strength of five is huge. They come with mighty blow, but most importantly, there are no negatraits on these mummies. I have two of them, <laughs> so they're really, really strong. And you can bet I'm going to try to leverage them as much as I can. And then the linemen will be the zombies with a stat line of 4328. Not too shabby as far as linemen go, and they're super cheap. Being an undead team means I don't have access to an apothecary. I get a necromancer instead. Everybody except my ghouls have regen, so there's a 50% chance that they're just going to regen back into the, in the uh, reserve box. Uh, also, because I have a necromancer, uh, if I kill someone, uh, there's there's a few stipulations on that, but generally speaking, if I kill someone, uh, I can resurrect them to then play for my team, and I really hope I do that tonight. <laughs> Smorse Dragons, that is Grover Cleveland going to go down in the first half and then come back every game. <laughs> How do these two teams play? I've, oh, I, I have three uh, TRIs, three rerolls as well which again is where you want to be. If you're new to the game of Blood Bowl, uh, you get to spend one team reroll a turn. Uh, you generally want to get them early. So you want to get them before you play a game because they're half price at that point. Uh, and then they just become very expensive later on. Three is a pretty good spot for most teams. Some teams could use a little more, um, a little as in maybe one more, uh, but three, three is a good place to be. Oh boy. Well, let's go to this. Let's go to the Skaven team first. <laughs> so, man, we've had three Skaven teams in uh, in this competition this season. Uh, so people are going to have to become accustomed to Skaven. The Gutter Runners, as we all know, they're very, very fast. They're very, very agile. They have the dodge skill as well. They're very hard to pin down. Um, it, coaches can play them various ways. On offense, you might see Gutter Runners just flood the uh, flood the backfield. Um, he could hand off to a gutter runner and the gutter runner just takes off and nobody can catch him. There's various ways to do it. Really, the way to stop a gutter runner is to get the knockdown. They only have an AV of seven. Um, that is not great. <laughs> the AV of seven is fairly brittle. If you can knock them down, you have a pretty good shot at taking him off the pitch. Combine that with the mighty blow of the mummies and these gutter runners could be in real danger. So the gutter runners are going to have to avoid the mummies. Uh, otherwise, all Skaven are decent players, right? The gutter runners aren't the only receivers. The gutter runners aren't the only throwers. They'll probably be the only throwers with the AG of four, but those linemen have decent stats as well. So if we're talking a quick or a short pass, don't count out the linemen. Uh, the big weakness on this roster, of course, is the low AV. Uh, they can go down fairly quickly, fairly easily. Uh, otherwise, one of the better teams in Blood Bowl, in my opinion. 
Uh, he does have the rat ogre, probably wants to go toe to toe with at least one of the mummies with that rat ogre. Um, that'll at least tie up one of those strength five players. The storm vermin will be pulling a lot of duty. You'll see him on defense using the storm vermin to try to get the blitz and then set up chain blocks to push people away. He's gonna take the, the blocks and push away the offense. Just keep them at bay. Don't let the opposing team come in and take a number of hits on these really fragile players. Uh, he's gonna have very little problem scoring on offense. On defense, he really just needs to stay alive. And if he can do that, I think he comes out on top tonight. For the Undead team, the Dead Presidents, uh, I think Undead, even though I haven't played them in about a decade, I'm very excited to here. Uh, I, I do think they're one of the better teams in Blood Bowl. Uh, in large part due to the fa due to two main factors one those mummies are great two uh, a tv 1000 team is just great out of the box i mean the two whites three ghouls two mummies you can't really argue with these pieces they're really solid piece pieces they give you a lot of options for how you want to play both on offense and on defense really the name of the game i think with this undead team is to counterplay the team you are facing very similar to humans except uh i think undead scales better at higher tv so um i'm going to be taking advantage of those mummies i'm probably going to try to keep them free i don't want to lock them down on the line i want to get them to where they need to be they only have an enemy of three so uh they really can't move out all that far so they can't be too far away from the action at any one time the whites will be putting in a ton of work the ghouls are going to be ball carriers and ball handlers and the real difficulty i think for this team is going to be trying to spread that spp out it can be very easy for ghouls or whites in particular to just hog all the spp and become way overpriced and then not really providing the bang for their buck where you really want to spread that spp out and get some key skills on the rest of the team these zombies they're just there to take hits they're super cheap they're there to take hits and hopefully we can get a free one or two here tonight so without further ado i think we're going to get this game underway i'm going to head over to discord real quick we'll see if uh, artificial bunny's ready to go and if he is we will get this game started All right, sorry about that. I was giving, having a little chat with uh, Artificial Bunny. We're ready to go here. Uh, when he speaks, let me know if his voice is too loud or too soft, if you don't mind. And, uh, <laughs> and thank you for the bits, guys. I appreciate it. <laughs> let me know if his voice is too loud or too soft when you hear him or perhaps when you don't. And uh, we'll get that dialed in. But uh, we're going to get this game underway now. All right, two TV 1000 teams means nothing's going, going to, to happen. Concede, right? <laughs> uh, no, I'm not going to concede. <laughs> 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 means nothing's going to happen in the inducement phase here, uh, as is indicative of most of these week one games. <laughs> Thank you for the bits, uh, SP Beaver. Who's going to Leroy, Leroy Jenkins here? I think if anybody, it's going to be the Skaven team. Here we are at Pokemon State. <laughs> Pokemon Stadium. <laughs> Which, if you're unfamiliar, was a video game. <laughs> oh, look at this disgusting, gross team. Look at these flies. Boo. Boo. Gross Alf. Gross Alf. <laughs> gross. <laughs> gross rats. Adorable. <laughs> oh, look at these beautiful, elegant players. S'mores Dragon says, if, 
if Ava kills Bidoof, he's going on my hit list. <laughs> Bidoof, <laughs> Bidoof, <laughs> Bidoof is fine. I guess, do, is there anybody that doesn't like Bidoof, really? Um, I'm going to go on defense because I think he wants to be on defense first. I'm going to go on defense. Maybe he'll score early. I'll try to get a 2-1 grind out of this. All right, let's set up our defense. Well, you're coming off the line. We're gonna set up our um, our ghouls here. We're gonna set up mummies up as linebackers because we want to try to keep them free for as long as possible. Probably spread them out a little bit. I think we'll do something like this. Yeah, yeah. SP Beer says, why not have the mummies on the line? If the rat gets past the line, the mummy's not catching them. Um, because I want them to, I, I might, I don't want to really go after these linemen. I want to go after, I want to go after the gutter runners. Um, I want these mummies to be able to go to the player I want to take off the pitch. Uh, if he runs past me, that's fine. Every I'm just going to move back to whoever's deepest. Um, and if he scores early, I'm okay with that. Because then I'm just going to play for a 2-1 win. <laughs> he thinks his mummies are going to catch gutter runners. <laughs> Well, if he want to move, if he wants to move his maximum distance, nobody's going to catch him if he if they start on the same line. Minute six left for the Poker Ratman to set up three TRRs apiece. Who has the fame advantage? Naturally, the dead presidents do. The famous dead presidents. Everybody knows dead presidents more than they know Pokemon names, right? <laughs> Keeping the rat ogre off the line. Artificial Bunny wants to do the same with his big guy. He's going to put him up in the right wide zone. Shifts with a strong line to the left. One player back to receive. That's one of the gutter runners. Naturally, here's the kick. We don't have a kicker. Uh, we are going to play it safe. Cheering fans, we're going to get an extra reroll. We'll take it. Middling kick, turn one for the Poker Ratman. I can see, so I can see the, we have captions for the hearing impaired. And uh, I can see them as I talk. And, and the captioning system decided, I said, turn one for the Polka Rap Men. <laughs> Two nine block on the left side of the line to get this game started. It's gonna be a push. Gonna push John F. Kennedy himself. Off the line. There are a ton, <laughs> there are a ton more Pokemon <laughs> than dead presidents. <laughs> Two die block at mid pitch, double skulls. Oh, gonna have to, well, he doesn't have to reroll us. He's considering it, but he's going to. Gets the pal here. He's down to two rerolls for the half. Nine plus breaks armor on Andrew Jackson. Here comes the Blitz. Mighty Blow Blitz by Bidoof. He's going to get the knockdown here. He's getting a plus one on the armor break. Effectively, effectively, affectionately makes it. <laughs> effectively makes it an AB of seven. Uh, didn't break the armor there. So what happens here is he roll his dice. He needs a nine plus. Um, if he doesn't make it, he gets a plus one to that roll, effectively making it an AB seven. If he doesn't need 
the plus one on the armor roll, then he'll get the plus one on the uh, follow-up injury roll. Good pickup by the number five gutter runner. AG4 means these pickups are almost always going to succeed. They're only going to fail on a one. All die rolls uh, fail on a natural one and succeed on a natural six, regardless of modifier. Moving a storm vermin up behind the rat ogre on the right side of the pitch. Ball's on the left side. He's setting up some, some pitch control over on the right side as well. All right, turn one now for these presidents. Let's go. Uh, five, six against three is uh, not good enough, but I can do. Um, I can do seven, so let's do seven. One, two, let's do. Let's do this. An MA4, you really only get one movement. <laughs> Costs three to stand up. And one movement without GFIs. All right, we'll do this first. We'll see how this how this blitz goes. Three die blitz on the left side of the line with mighty blow. Three die blitz. That's gonna work out. Let's push him here and let's follow up. There we go. Patrick Got the you. injury. <laughs> <laughs> no oppo for the rat man. One man player advantage now for the dead presidents. Under a minute to play. Um... <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Why don't we uh, do this? Tie up this rat ogre. What do I want to do with this guy? What do I want to do with this guy? Um, pull him over to the left. I could leave him here. You know what? We'll leave him there. That'll be our turn. Turn two, back to the Poker Rat Man. One man player advantage for the Dead Presidents currently. I was really considering taking the Blitz here and then trying to cut the team off in half, but uh, decided against it. Two die block on the left side of the line is going to get the knockdown. It's going to break armor. Gets a stun. <laughs> SB Beaver says let the mummy play safety. <laughs> Two die block gets a pal here on the right side of the line. Grover Cleveland gets knocked down. Moving the gutter runner back a few steps here to number five. Moving backwards may seem like an odd tactic, but uh, Artificial Bunny recognizes that he doesn't want to score too early. So by moving backwards, he's going to eat up turns. Um, so decent move. Failed the wild animal roll. 
Fail, spend, did he spend the reroll? No, okay, I was like, oh no, did he spend the reroll? Wild Animal, when you take a block, only fails on a one, otherwise it's a 50-50. Two die blitz on James Polk himself. Gets a push. SP Beaver says, not sure he needs to cage that far back. I do not think he could reach. I think he wants me to come to him. I think he's trying to eat up time. Turn two, takes the blitz, moves right back into position. Makes sense, makes sense. Um, why don't we put you put you here? Oh, why don't we go after this fella, shall we? Tie up the, the Rat Ogre. We'll take the three die blitz on Emolga. We're gonna do this before moving because I'm fine with just staying here. If not, we might move up a little bit. We'll see. Three die blitz. I am going to reroll it. There we go. Uh, we will push you here and we'll follow. And then, um, I think what we're going to do... 3D rerolls. I know, right? <laughs> I think we will go up the line here. And we'll start, we'll start working over these linemen. And, uh, and then we'll do a little of this. And a little of this. And um, a little of this. Uh, maybe this? I don't want to blitz. Um, maybe that? gonna make it very likely that he's gonna hand off to run down the right side if I do that. Do I wanna do I wanna go whole hog on this right now? I um I don't think so. I think we'll stay like that. Turn three back to the poker ratman. <laughs> Berserker Tepa says only turn two and <laughs> skated her on the four yard line. <laughs> Go Poco Ratman! <laughs> Here he comes. He's going to take the two die blitz against the white. It's going to be a push. Uh, otherwise, it'd be a both standing result. It was blitzer to blitzer. Yeah, definitely doesn't want to follow up on that. Has no movement left with the Storm Vermin. It's going to take. Uh, take the two die block here with the rat over ogre. It's gonna get the knockdown. He's got a one die on the line if he wants to if he wants to take it. Gonna try the plus three dodge. Well done. Doesn't want to give up the block over here on the left side of the pitch. Thinking about this one die here against number nine. Sides against it. Now that cage is gonna move down the right side of the pitch.
40 seconds left for the Poco Ratman. This will be the, the final action unless he unless he, he finds the wherewithal to make this block here. No. I think that's a good decision. All right. Um, I mean, I think the blitz happens here, right? I think it's gotta. I think it's gotta. I think it's gotta. Um, let's do this. Let's do... Let's do this. Do I want to make this a two die or a three die? Um, let's make this a three die. Um, we're going to stand this guy up. Let's go ahead and take this block. I don't know where they want to go yet. Three die block. All pushes. You got lucky, sir. You got lucky. You're going to get pushed here. And... We're going to say put... Get a two die here. Get the knockdown. You're going to go here. And follow up. All right, under a minute. Uh, where do I want to take the blitz? Where do I want to take the blitz? Going on Pikachu Chew with the dodge, or do I want it over here? Um, let's tie you up here. We'll go here. I think we are going to take this blitz. Um, let's see what happens. Two die blitz. Skilled blitz. He's got the oh. Sorry, dodge the skill. Let's go ahead and push him here. I'm going to stay put. And then we'll... Um, We'll go... Here. Why not? We're giving up the wide zone, or uh, we're giving up the sideline, but I think that's okay. <clears throat> SPVR says, if you miss, he's going to score. If he wants to score on turn four, fine with that. some tie-ups here. Looks like he's going to take the two-die blitz against James Madison. It's going to be a both-down result. He got a stun out of it. <laughs> it's a very good stun for the Poker Ratman. Still has plenty of movement left with Rattata. One guy looks like he's been really working out. You see a gym rat? Boo. Boo. Gets the push with the rat ogre. He's going to get a follow a frenzy follow-up here. Two die frenzy follow-up. Gets another push. Remember, he must follow up with frenzy. He has no choice in the matter. SP Beaver says, uh, did he mark you with a gutter runner? Uh, here? This is a line. The gutter runner has have like the fancy capes. I guess they're not that fancy. They're kind of gross. <laughs> it's going to move the cage across the line of scrimmage to the uh, to the dead president's eight yard line. <laughs> Clive says, really? That's the one that got the boo? <laughs> Good dodge. Good dodge by uh, by <laughs> Emolga to get back into this game. Lots of movement. 
AG4 makes dodges um, pretty good. Another good dodge. All right, super caging up these rats. All right, turn three. Turn three. Turn three. I might take this one die here. I think I'm okay with that. Let's... Turn three. Turn four. <laughs> turn four. Um, let's just start moving him down pitch. Boy, I feel like it's a waste to take it on Bidoof. I feel like it's a waste to take it on Bidoof. I could make it a two die. Oh. But who else am I going to blitz? Um. Let's move you here. But who else am I going to blitz? Oh, you know what? Why not? Why don't we take a block on the big guy? Let's do it. Let's take a blitz here. Two die blitz. We're going to get the knockdown. He's going to go right. We'll go here. Why not? And um, we're going to st follow up. I'm gonna say put. <laughs> Broke oh, armor. No. <laughs> <laughs> Got a stun. Oh, phew. <laughs> All right, now we got some blocks to take. Let's go ahead and take this one. No, let's go ahead and take this one. This is a two die. Two die block, double skulls. I'm gonna reroll it. It's turn four, why not? Get a push. Uh, we'll push you here. And. Oh. Really should have moved him. Don't know where he's gonna go though. He can go here. Really should have moved all my ghouls. I got I got complacent. You can go. You can go here. You can go here. You can go here. Uh, you can go here. And you can take this one die skilled block and get yourself a push. Uh, you can go here and we'll stay put. And that will be our turn. All right, Poker Ratman in scoring position at the moment. They're going to take the blitz on Thomas Jefferson, it looks like. Turn five, beginning of the second quarter now. I'm try to protect this ball on the sideline. Here he comes. Close up this cage with these. Uh, we've got a runner. He's got a storm vermin here, and he has a lineman. He's gonna take the two die here against the ghoul. He's gonna get the pal here. An eight plus. We'll take this ghoul off the pitch. Broke. Armor got a stun. One more block to take if he wants to set it up. All he can get out of it is a one die. Deciding to tie up the number one white, George Washington himself.
Definitely not gonna take the block here. He'll probably dodge out Pikachu. Otherwise, Pikachu's gonna take a two die. Moving back to get the assist to get the two die block against Grover Cleveland. Here it is, gets a push. He says, get away from me. Get away from me. I'm intentionally ignoring all of these puns. <laughs> um, well, I mean, I mean, why don't we go? Here. And then why don't we move you not in the end zone. Um, let's, I don't know. I don't know what to do with you guys. Um, I think, I think what I'm going to do is probably this. We'll set this up. One, two, three, four. We'll set this up. And then we will, um, <laughs> I really don't want to get surfed here, so I don't, I don't know if I care this much. Um, Let's put you here. And then let's go here. And then let's go here. Let's go here. Let's go here. And let's take the GFI Blitz here. One, Ooh, two, two, G two GFIs, man. Fail the GF5, we'll spend the reroll. Three die blitz. Uh, it's gonna be a dodge push. Ah, oh, I think I'll use dodge. <laughs> Saw the dice flash before my eyes. Take a one die on the lineman here. Both down result will work out for us. Do the block skill. And that will be our turn. Sands alignment right back up so you can get that, uh, try to get that assist here. Two die block gets a push against James Polk. Failed the wild animal roll here on the blitz. Lost the blitz due to the wild animal failure. Well. Two die block. It's gonna be a both standing result or a push. He's gonna choose the push. 
decides to not follow up. He says, get away. If you want to block someone, you go after the guy with the block skill. Thinking about scoring, he's going to do a one to zero. Booker Ratman take the lead here in the first half. SP Beaver says auto mod is very picky sometimes. Well, it's very, I just said it through the fault, super aggressive and figured we would just permit terms as they show up. So my apologies if you get unduly uh, auto modded. <laughs> Ten v eleven on the pitch now. Dead presidents are going to get three turns to try to score. It is certainly doable, not likely, but that's okay. Hook a rat man setting up with a three man line. Innocent rats. Hardly innocent. <laughs> Tight defense here by the Poker Ratman. Two rerolls remain, one for the uh, Dead Presidents. Deciding to send his line over, strong left here. Interesting, interesting. Now we'll set up on offense. Fine. Um, sure. Um, actually, I'll, I'll put them on the line here. You are not going to pick up the ball. John Adams is going to pick up the ball. You're going to move here. 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 Let's, uh, let's go with this, shall we? Shall we? Here's the kick. We'll see where Artificial Bunny chooses the kick, if he's going to get risky or not. Brilliant coaching. We get another reroll, really thanks to our fame uh, advantage. Extra rerolls. I know, it's great. All right, let's take these blocks. Um... Let's take these. Let's take these blocks. Two die block. Get the pal. We'll um stay put. Break armor, get a KO. Thanks. Two man player advantage now for the dead presidents. Really need to be careful with this ball, actually. I need to be super careful. So let's see. If we go here to here. Let's go here. Let's, um, let's, um, boy, let's, um, you know, you can stay in, you can stay in tight with the cage. Take a two die block on the line, we'll get a push. Uh, 
push you back here. And then um, let's put let's put you here. And let's put you. Here. And then we'll take this three die, get a pal, and you can go right here. Um, yeah, let's follow. Break armor, get a stun. All right, now we'll try to pick this ball up. I'll leave that other white where he is for now. And then the white can come in and go... Here. Turn seven for the Pokeratman. Setting up what looks to be a blitz on George Washington. Currently, it would be a two-die blitz if he takes it. S'mores Dragon says, but I thought Raichu was immune, immune to lightning damage. <laughs> the weaknesses, the effective list just, it just isn't working in this game for some reason. It's broken. Failed the wild animal roll again. Spends the reroll. Got through the loner. Only gets a push. So he spent the reroll on wild animal, but he's a loner. So whenever he spends a reroll, he has to uh, roll a die again. And on a 50 50, he, he, uh, he can't take the action, but still spends the reroll. Decided to spend the reroll. Got through the loner roll. Sets up for the surf with the rat ogre over on the left side of the pitch. Gotta take a mark on Abraham Lincoln. Turn seven now for the dead presidents. They're gonna have to end this turn in scoring position. Um, so let's do that. Let's go here. Uh-huh. <laughs> Let's um Hmm. Do I want to hand him the ball first? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. Let's do this. Let's go. Let's go here. here to die block uh, we'll take the push we'll follow up we wanted better but that's okay wanted better but that's okay let's go here.
And then let's go. Here. I go here. Probably should have moved him up, but that's okay. We'll go here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, we gotta keep going. That'll do it. Ah, forgot it was the second to last turn. I had to keep going. <laughs> so, one GFI will be fine. SP Beaver says, remember to stand up the guy on the sidelines. No, I think he's good. <laughs> I think he's all right. <laughs> Gutter Runner comes in for the assist on number two. Blitz by the lineman, perhaps. Now he's going to do a dodge blitz with the Storm Vermin. Good dodge. Two die skilled blitz. Both down results not going to work. He's going to have to take the push here. Ah, uh, should have pushed one back, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, one back wouldn't matter. GFI, yeah, you gotta, you gotta close that gap. <laughs> Failed the GFI. <laughs> He's going to have to re-roll this. Final re-roll for the Poker Rat Men. Gets the GFI. Well done. Pretty good protection here. At least they didn't use the GFI earlier. Two assists on the white here. Two assists on the foul. Got an injury on George Washington. Oh, the first president. <laughs> All right, he might miss next game. Let's see. Oh! <laughs> but Azrael got sent off. Failed the regen roll, but it was a one for one trade. Here we go. Um, I thought that was a worthwhile trade. Uh, we gotta, we gotta go here. Take the two die block here. <laughs> Guess we'll do this one, right? It's just got to be a dodge dodge. It's going to be the way this has to work. Can't get more than a two die blitz out of this. Um, no, I don't want it to be a blitz. I want this to be the blitz. Um... Do I want this to be the Blitz? If this is the Blitz, I want this to be the Blitz, I think. Uh, there's nothing else we can do. Let's go. Oh, I can't make it with the Blitz, can I? One, two, three, four, five, six. I, I can't make it with the Blitz. I'm going to have to do the Blitz here. Two die Blitz, both down result. I have to re-roll this. I'm gonna get a push. He'll go here. Boy, that's unfortunate. <laughs> that's unfortunate. Stay put. All right. 
Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> it's worth a try. Worth a try. <laughs> One zero. Poker Rat Man are going to be in the lead here. The Dead Presidents are going to be on offense here in the second half. I think they're going to be up uh, one player, the 10v9 on the pitch, I believe. Oh, it might be more. Nope. <laughs> nope. 10v9 <laughs> uh, on the pitch. One man player advantage. We've seen Skaven and Undead before uh, in the league, but we have a lot of new teams. We saw, what did we see earlier today? We saw um, High Elves. We haven't seen High Elves before. Uh, Nick Satan, of course, is coaching uh, Kislev. Uh, lots of new teams in the league this season, uh, along with uh, Clyfus coaching Brett and uh, Merrick coaching Amazon. All new races in the league for this season. All righty. something like that um i think we're still okay with this um i think we're okay with this let's let's just go let's go center Now, now we have a bit of a conundrum here. We want to score, but man, we if <laughs> it's very easy for this rat team to score. So uh, we really want to try to get some casualties here on this half. Here's a kick. Weather's going to remain nice, but the ball's going to scatter. One extra space. And now... We are going to, what is that, three, four, five, six, seven? All right. Two, three. Let's take these blocks. Five, six. Doesn't do me much. Let's go. Here. We'll go ahead and take these blocks. Two die block, we're gonna get a pal against the number nine lineman. We'll go over here. We're gonna say put this time and you'll you'll see why in a few turns. Two die block with mighty blow, it's not gonna matter, we're gonna get the push. Stay put. Final two die on the line. We're going to get a knockdown against Raichu. And uh, we will follow up here. Broke Armor got a stun. All right. So that's that. Um, now, Done. why don't we pick this ball up? I'd move these guys first, but he's so fast. I think we're going to go... Whoa, I think we're gonna go, whoa, stop. <laughs> we're gonna go here. Um. Mm, dropping the ball. <laughs> sure, why not? I, I, that was a mistake. That reroll's a mistake, but. I wanna keep the momentum up. I don't wanna give him an opportunity to try to break my momentum. 
All right, and then you can go. You can go here. He'll go here. He'll stay put. All right, turn nine back to the Poker Ratman. Two die block against John F. Kennedy. Gets the pal. He's looking for a nine plus. Doesn't get it. Defensive line done. Now what? This is a rat ogre trying to do anything at all? It's not a blitz. He has a 50 50 chance of losing his turn due to wild animal, but there's no other penalty to it, so he might as well do something. Going for the blitz. Here it is. It's a two die blitz, gets the pal on James Madison, and eight plus breaks armor on one of these ghouls. Doesn't do it. Ties up the number two white, Abraham Lincoln. Moves the storm vermin forward, the Skaven uh, blitzers across the line of scrimmage. There's two gutter runners side to side. They're playing sort of a safe, uh, a linebacker position, really. All right. That'll be it for the Poker Rat and turn 10 now for the Dead Presidents. So here's why we didn't follow up with these, uh, these mummies. Because what I want to do is. Uh, I want to do this. So let's. You can go. Here. And then, uh, let's say you can go. Here. And let's say this might be a little risky, but we're going to do this. And we're going to take this two die blitz. Mighty Blow Blitz. It's unskilled, though. We're going to get a push out of it. Uh, looking for a little more, but. Um, that's okay. I'm gonna push him here. I'm gonna say put. So now we have a mummy on either corner. Um, what do you say, gents? Run GFI with this guy? What's GFI? There it is. There it is. I was really expecting that to fail. <laughs> um, let's go. Let's go. Good dodge. Good touch. Thank you for the bits, Clavius. Um, you are going to go here. Got out from behind the prehensile tail, even. Uh, and you're going to go here instead. All right, and that'll be our turn. Turn 10 back to the Poker Admin. So now this gutter runner. As an uphill block, unless the assist comes in, this ogre is currently tied up. 
rat ogre, as it were. Two die block of the line, double skulls. Oh. Aww. Quads. Quad skulls for the Skaven. I refuse to listen to this. <laughs> All right. Well, I mean, it's got to be, right? Nipple it's got to be. Two, three. Let's, uh, let's do. I want to stand him up first? Nah, let's do this. Let's do the two die. I really want to make this a three die. I'm going to make it a three die. <laughs> I'm going to make it a three die. Three die blitz on the lineman. Three die blitz gets a pow. Good thing you made it a three die. <laughs> Got over here. We'll follow up. I know, right? All right. And this guy can go. Here. He's going to be marked, but he's a mummy. What does he, what does he care? I'll go here. This guy will go here. This guy really want to GFI here, but um, maybe I will. <laughs> maybe I will. Let's do this first. Two die block against gutter runner. Ooh, armor versus armor. <laughs> We're gonna take it. We're gonna take it. Oh no! <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, we took the block, took the both downers all, didn't want to spend the reroll on it, and <laughs> and we left this poor guy behind. <laughs> Ah, oh, lost him on the trade. <laughs> because he's so fast, he can just go anywhere. <laughs> Two die blitz on Thomas Jefferson. Works out through the block skill. Eight plus will take him off the pitch. Got KO'd. Well done. The ghouls do not have regen, so they do not come back on. And I believe that's 9v9 on the pitch now. Nope! <laughs> it is 9v8 in favor of the Poka Ratman. Two die block with the Rat Ogre gets a push. Frenzy follow up, another push. Ratman tying up the back of this cage. Well done. Or the Rat Ogre, rather. <laughs> this is a three plus dodge. Gets away from John F. Kennedy. There's another prone player next to JFK. He's going to do a three, three plus dodge. Works out. And another three plus dodge. Well done. Turn 12 for the dead presence. Let's go ahead and take this two die. Or do we want it to be a blitz? We do not want it to be a blitz. We want it to be a two die block. Two die block, we get a push. Sure. And then, um. Hmm. 
you can go here. <laughs> um, We're gonna take a two die on a gutter runner. Two die, ah, oh, man, another push. Um, push him here, we'll stay put. Probably go here, I think. Go here, I think. Fifty fifty dodge. Tail the dodge. 50-50 due to prehensile tail. We'll skip that. We are turn. Turn 12 for the Poco Ratman. <laughs> SP Beaver says, see, this is why you need more team rerolls. <laughs> Do I block double skulls again? <laughs> Spends a reroll, gets the pal. Poker Rat Man down to one reroll left. This is final turn of the third quarter. Freeze up the lineman, number seven, Raichu. Setting up for a potential block on J or a blitz on James Polk. Here it is. Two die blitz. Gets the pal. Is he going to follow up? He is going to follow up. So he's going to try to frenzy in with the rat ogre here. Dude, I blocked double pals on Andrew Jackson. <laughs> and he's gonna break armor. Remember, he has mighty blow. Got a stun. He really wanted a push That's on that when first I one. To push. <laughs> <laughs> As you can hear, artificial bunny saying he needed that push. Yeah, he really wanted that push there. He wanted to push in on the cage. Resets his defense here. All right, let's um, let's stand you up. I think what we're going to do is Man, this is a chess match and a half. Uh, 
<sighs> so we have to make a decision. Do we want to keep trying to bash them down or do we want to try to scoot out here? But we can't get a whole lot of people here and it's going to be very, very, very iffy if we do. Um, that's going to determine who I want to blitz with, which mummy I want to blitz with. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. <laughs> we either tie it up or we, we lose 2 0. Let's go for it. To die, Blitz. Uh, that'll work. We'll punch him here. Follow up for the free movement. Get an injury. We got an injury. Oh, oh no. Oh, <laughs> Imolga. Hey, that's Ooh. what the linemen are for. Fractures the skull, loses all armor point of damage. That's probably the end of that player's career. Uh, all right, so this is what we're going to do. Um, we're going to go here. And then we're going to go here. Let's go. Two dodges. There's one. There's two. Dodge. Thanks. Now we're going to. Oh, boy. Um, we're going to try another dodge here. That's not going to work out. Do we want to reroll this dodge? Um, Sure, let's do it. Now we have a GFI with no reroll. Um, let's go. One more GFI with no reroll. No, not. No. Yeah, <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> To die block. This, uh, uh, John Adams is not safe, but, uh, I felt this was probably a better play than trying to re re cage here since we're not, we're not getting the armor breaks we're looking for. So there's the assist. Failed the dodge. Oh, there was a delay there. He got the free reroll. <laughs> I was like, whoa. <laughs> That's something you don't see every day. Two die blitz. Here we go. Got the knockdown. Where's the ball going to scatter? R right into the hands of Radicate. It's not going to spend the reroll. Well done by the Poker Rat Man. Yeah, that was that was our option. It was we go down 2 0 or we tie it up 1 1. <laughs> Passes for some SPP. Well done. Get some little extra protection as well. Takes the positive dodge out. Fails to dodge. Can't get past these incredibly quick zombies and gets injured. Oh, no. <laughs> Loses a lineman. Another lineman with a fractured skull. Oh. Heartbreaking when the injuries happen on your own watch. <laughs> oh, the replay doesn't seem to work. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> All right. Well, what, what, uh, what say you? What say you? What say you? The two die. <laughs> What's? What do you think about the two die blitz? Huh? <laughs> Well, let's go. Let's go. Uh, we'll put you here. Um, and we'll put you... Put you here.
Do I want to make that a two die? Probably. Ugh, no. No, I don't. Um, I don't want to stand up the ghoul because he's going to be the he's going to be the one to score if I can get it. So you should go here. You should go. I don't know where you should go. You should go. <laughs> you should stand up for sure. Um, boy, oh boy. Um, none of this is going to matter if this works. So you'll just go here. We'll stand up. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. Two die blitz on two GFIs. Let's go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's the first GFI failed. And <laughs> we failed the second one. Ooh. No. No. <laughs> Two failed GFIs. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. Turn 14 for the Book of Rat Men now. They're just gonna, they're gonna skitter down pitch. Hank <laughs> the Ranger says G never GFI. <laughs> SP Beaver, a little too late. Triggers the emergency GFI warning. <laughs> oh, I certainly did not. I certainly did not. Poker Ratman will score on turn 16. We're not gonna not gonna chase them down. I mean we we might if we get lucky on these blocks, but otherwise. Ah, oh, snake eyes on the GFI. Ah. Oh. I held the wild animal roll with the rat ogre. His turn is done. Hank the Ranger says Skaven equals everyone everywhere all at once. It's very true. Turn 15 now. For, um, let's see, what are our options? <laughs> you could theoretically <laughs> blitz him here. Uh, that's not happening. So let's go this way. We'll go here. Go here. I'll expect my check in the mail for whoever, whoever plays Poker Rackman in week two. <laughs> All right, uh, this is a one die. It's two die. Uh, so you can go here. Let's take this two die against Raichu. Two die block. We'll get the knockdown. Uh, Raichu can go here. And we'll follow up. All right. Now the Rat Ogre will take a two die block. And we'll also get knocked down. And you can go here. And we will follow up. And this fella is going to go here. Fifey says, how many injuries is that now? Three? Yep, three. And, um, why not? Why not? We didn't learn our lesson the first time. And that'll be our turn. Do I have an injury? I don't. Oh, yeah, I do. He's uh, out next game.
So four total injuries. Gutter runner comes in for the assist on Andrew Jackson. Two die blitz gets the knockdown. Breaks armor too. Only got a stun out. He'll be able to stall for one more turn here. Did a handoff. I guess that was for protection. You don't get SPP on the handoff. Unless he actually chose it to be a catch, but I didn't I didn't see the pass, so so it had to have been a handoff. Good dodge. Failed the wild animal roll on the doof. Well, I mean, I'm sorry, buddy. But this is what we're going to have to do then. We're going to take a two-die blitz on our final turn of this game. We're going to lose it 2-0, but that's all right. We're going to try to take Raichu out of his career. Let's go. Two-die blitz. Two-die blitz. We got the pal. That's what we wanted. He'll go here. We'll follow up. Oh, and he was going to write you a letter. <laughs> he's stunned, but uh, that's probably fortuitous for him because he thinks he's he's not going to remember what's about to happen to him. Uh, he can go here. I can get three assists, so let's get three assists. It's coming. Here we go. Oh, but he just evolved. <laughs> <laughs> Three assists on the foul. Let's go. Oh, he only got KO'd. <laughs> but we got called off. The ref caught it. <laughs> the ref caught it. <laughs> Damn you, John Adams. <laughs> that ref is on point. <laughs> Nothing left for the Poker Rat Man to do. They do have a reroll if they want to take a blitz. Otherwise, they can score. Increase their standing even further. They can guarantee the score. It looks like they are going to take the blitz. Stand up bit, uh, bits. Stand up blitz. Gets the knockdown on James Polk. And that's it. 2 0 will be the game. Well done, man. Thank you. Poker Ratman will take this one. They'll take the lead in division. Yeah, it passed No, they won't take the lead in division. Hand it off to him so he can level up. I see, I see. So you can hear uh, Artificial Bunny there. He said he did the handoff so that he could get the level up on that player. Thank you. Thanks for the grudge match. <laughs> yeah. Had a great time. All right. See ya. And that'll be it. And naturally, <laughs> naturally. <laughs> wait, wait, what? Naturally, <laughs> we only got 10k. <laughs> we rolled a one. <laughs> we got 10k for the one, and then 10k for the for the fame. <laughs> yeah, that is a solid one. That's <laughs> that's perfect. <laughs> oh boy! All right, let's take a look at the statistics here. 
Ball possession. Poker Rotman had it for 56% of the game. Dead presence only for 37% there. Uh, lots of running yards for the Poker, Poker Ratman. You'll see that with these Skaven teams a lot. Um, I mean, you saw how far MA9 goes. Um, it, it's it's far. <laughs> it's it's tough to keep Skaven teams from scoring. Um, but yeah, uh, that was fun. I thought it was fun. Dead President's got nine SPP. Uh, Poker Ratman are going to pick up 12. Not bad at all. Uh, who were the MVPs for this game? The number 10 lineman and uh, the number nine zombie, Grover Cleveland. So neither of them are going to level up, but they've got five points. One more will get them the level up they're look at, looking for. Let's take a look at the schedules before we leave for the evening. As we speak, there's another game going on currently unaired. Uh, it's War Horseman versus the Highlander. Damage Dragons versus McLeod's Maulers. Just FYI, we've uh, we've come up with a system. We won't we won't reveal it yet, but uh, the unaired games uh, may not be unaired for long. So look out for that. Um, but yeah, so we have a, an unaired game today. Uh, there will be an unaired game tomorrow. That's Malik versus El Nuberino, Brewmeisters versus the Masters of Mammal. But tomorrow night, we are going to stream Nick Satan versus Dead Fred. That's the Carnivores versus Donkey Teeth. That's going to be Kislev Circus versus Wood Elves. Hooray for the return of Wood Elves. That will be tomorrow night, January 9th, 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's UTC minus five. I hope you come out and check it out with us. And in the meantime, why don't you check out our website? We're at uh, mammal.club. Uh, you can check out our podcast, uh, Mammal Talk, and we have social media presence on uh, Twitter, on Facebook, and on Mastodon. You can check out our past games on YouTube, and uh, schedules will be posted on all our social media accounts as well as here on Twitch, so you can sign up and make sure you stay on top of when the next game is and uh, uh, look forward to watching it. I had a blast. I hope you do too. Play Blood Bowl. What a fun game this is. Where else? Where else can you? Where else can you be a zombie and beat up on a rat, <laughs> right? Or be a giant rat ogre and go toe to toe with a mummy? Only here, man. In a game of football, no less. Um, if you want to play with us, we play. Uh, we all of our competitions are. We have three open competitions a season. The next one will be the Spike Magazine Trophy after the Chaos Cup concludes. Come play with us. It's a ton of fun. You can you can jump in uh, mid competition and still still take it all the way to the championship. Um, but until tomorrow night at ten o'clock, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your Sunday and the rest of your weekend. Take care, everybody. <laughs>